हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल सी मल्टीपल कैच ब्लॉक इन जावा सो मल्टीपल कैच मींस मोर देन वन कैच एंड इफ वी हैव मोर देन वन कैच इन प्रोग्राम देन मेनी लर्नर दे गेट द कंफ्यूजन सो हियर द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज ईच कैच ब्लॉक मस्ट कंटेन डिफरेंट एक्सेप्शन मीन सपोज यू हैव टू कैच ब्लॉक इन बोथ द कैच ब्लॉक वी यूज डिफरेंट एक्सेप्शन क्लास लाइक वन अरिथमेटिक एक्सेप्शन सेकेंड एर इंडेक्स आउट ऑफ बाउंड वी कैन नॉट यूज अरिथमेटिक एक्सेप्शन इन द टू कैच ब्लॉक क्लियर एंड इफ यू हैव टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट टास्क देन वी यूज मल्टीपल कैच ब्लॉक हियर सम पॉइंट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एट अ टाइम ओनली वन एक्सेप्शन ऑकर एंड एट अ टाइम ओनली वन कैच ब्लॉक इज एक्सिक्यूटेड मीन्स एट अ टाइम यू कैन नॉट एक्जीक्यूट मोर देन वन कैच ब्लॉक सो दैट पॉइंट वी विल सी प्रैक्टिकली ऑल्सो एंड इन कैच ब्लॉक इट मस्ट बी ऑर्डर फ्रॉम स्पेसिफिक टू जनरल स्पेसिफिक मीन्स पर्टिकुलर अरिथमेटिक सॉरी यू कैन से पर्टिकुलर एक्सेप्शन टाइप लाइक अरिथमेटिक एर इंडेक्स आउट ऑफ बाउंड बिकॉज अरिथमेटिक एक्सेप्शन will find out divide by zero error array index out of found means it will find out if the array size is exceeding suppose the limit is 5 and in program you are using array size 6 that is handled by array index out of bound so that is specific because they are handling specific error specific exception and general means like exception class it handle all type of exception so in catch block we arrange it from specific to general means in a program in a catch first suppose you have three catch block then first we will write arithmetic then array index out of bound then exception class their specific uh, exception you can change their order also first you can write array index out of bound then arithmetic exception and at the last exception class you cannot use exception class at the beginning if you have only one catch block then you can directly use exception here some examples are there in program if you write variable equal to 30 divided by 0 as you know it is divided by zero error so it will be handled by catch block which is having arithmetic exception class so our output is arithmetic exception occur suppose we have two catch block as here this catch block is running then this one will be skip same way third catch block will be skip because i as i told you only one catch block will be executed it will not execute more than one catch block okay got it so that the reason our output is arithmetic exception occur so here what you learn friend at a time only one catch block will run because in try statement in this statement there is error and once it will go in the catch block then it will not return back to the try so that the reason it will execute only one particular exception in the program so after that in example 2 so here we have array index out of bound error because size is 5 but here we have size 10 so it's a array index out of bound so this is match with the second exception type like array index out of bound so our output is array index out of bound you can observe here this is the output so this kind of you can say exception it is not match with this one it is match with this one so this part will run this one will not be checked because in particular try block only one catch will be executed okay so here in the program under this try block which is followed by three catch block so it is matching with this one so this catch block will be executed now in example 3 we have string s equal to null and we are counting the length it means here there is a error because in null value we cannot count the length so it is not matching with arithmetic exception so there is no use array index also no use and uh, it is catch by the exception class because it handle all type of exception so our output is parent exception occur so till now we have seen three example now we will go in eclipse and there we will remove some confusion whatever you are have 
so friend here i am in eclipse and i have already written the code which or we discuss in the presentation nothing is new here in this main method we have the output statements so our first output will be a then in try block as you are aware about this error it is divided by 0 so this block is matching here the exception will be handled by this catch block and you get the output arithmetic exception then it will be not compare with the second and third one and in the point as I told you we use first specific and then general so this is general you cannot use before the specific suppose I do here suppose I cut this statement and uh, if I write this statement if I write here so what happen I am first using exception class that is general it handle all type of error and then I am using arithmetic and array index out of bounds so here you see error is coming and what kind of error is there that we will see our program is simply not running because we change out the procedure Un unreachable error is coming so what I will do now I will keep it in the same position again I cut this code and now I am keeping it into its original position and now you observe our program will run you see a arithmetic exception and the rest of the code and here one important point I am telling you you can change their order means first you can use your arith array index out of bound then you can use arithmetic exception there is no problem here and one more point that I told you in the presentation under the try block only one catch block will execute but you have confusion if you have two try block then how many catch block will execute definitely two now in this process you observe we have three catch block but only this one is running then how you can execute two catch block definitely if you have two try block then you have you can execute two catch block but here in this case you can run only one because we have only one try so friend for your understanding I am copying this code so here I copied the code and simply I paste it here because after that I am going to use second try block so I have used second try block so your output will be coming two times you observe our program is running first a arithmetic exception then again our output is repeating arithmetic exception and rest of the code how it is coming because at the beginning in the try block as there is a error and before that we are getting output a a is here then we have arithmetic exception because this catch block is running and then I pasted one more try block so here divide by zero error so you are getting this output arithmetic exception and at the end rest of the code once again I am showing you you observe here arithmetic exception rest of the code so in this way your two catch block will run only when you have two particular try block in the program but the try block is followed by catch block that point you keep in mind try block cannot be followed by the again next try block so if you use like that two catch block will run but in program if you have one try block only one catch block will run two catch block will not run so i hope friend you understood this concept thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you